Final Fantasy VIII is one of the games in the series which is pretty mixed in the fandom for numerous reasons. From the draw system to the junction system and the really slow story. But this isn't the video talking about what I think of it, at least not yet. And today I want to talk about what could have been a better system for the magic than what we got. I also want to hear what you guys think of the system I thought of and anything you change about it. And of course, I kind of just thought about this manually when playing the game so there might be some flaws here and there and also I'm not a game dev so I can't really balance this. It's just again a random idea I had when playing through the game. For those of you who don't know what the draw and junction system is, I'll quickly explain it. More or less, the magic in this game is a consumable item. But unlike something like Persona where you have normal magic and consumable items that act as magic, in FF8, the magic is always tied to the consumable item. So say if you have 10 fire spells and you use one, then you now have 9. But you do have to end up drawing the magic from random enemies or drawing points on the map and the limit is 100. And also each enemy has different spells you can draw from them, same with the draw points. So of course you have to end up farming different enemies for different spells. And also the junction system is where you take those magic items you got and then put them onto stats. And depending on how much you have in that like spell is depending on how much your stats increase. So say fire will increase your stats by say 10 if you have 30 fire spells. But the upgraded version of fire will say increase it by say 30 if you have the same exact number. I'm just giving an example, I don't actually remember them on the top of my head, but it's something like that. And along with that, different magic spells will increase your stats by a lot more. So something like fire will increase your attack a lot more, and the cure spell will increase your HP by a lot more. This does still allow for some freedom in what spells you want in a junction, because say for example, if you have like 30 cures, but if you have like say 80 thunders, it might be beneficial to add on the 80 thunders instead of the 30 cues to your HP stat because of course you'll get better mileage out of that. But in the end you need to grind a lot for the max amounts to get the best possible stat in wherever you want. So obviously this would just have you stay in the battle for like upwards of 5 to 10 minutes maybe even longer just drying over and over again and that can get really tiring. But now we move on to what I thought of. And more or less, it just removes the draw system. And trust me, I know it sounds weird, but let me explain. And I'm pretty sure, again, I think this is a somewhat better idea since you have to grind a lot less. But again, hear me out. Let's start off with the Guardian Forces and what they can do. In the end, they can end up lowering different abilities for being able to juncture different stats and also lowering different actions like how Ifrit can lower Mad Rush. How I would change this instead of lowering all those like side stuff, they can actually learn different magic attacks and different abilities that are unique to them like as I said before Mad Rush. And using if we're an example again, you can end up learning a lot of fire magic and again Mad Rush and stuff like that and I feel you should be able to junction those stuff to your stats. And also the magic attacks can end up having levels themselves. So this is similar to the drawing system where you know if you draw a certain spell over and over again, it gets more powerful and that's the same thing with leveling up the spells. The max level can be like maybe 10 or higher. Or something and of course the stronger it is the higher it raises a stat. But I feel this can go two ways. One way is that you end up having to use a certain spell enough time so that way you can level up or you just have to have it equipped on the character like for example say if you have Fiagra, Fire and Matt Rush equipped you can obviously level those on a lot faster or you can just again use the Final Fantasy 2 way and just you know the more you use it the stronger it gets but Obviously a lot less grinding than Final Fantasy 2 for Final Hero because you need to grind a lot in that game just to get your spells to a decent level. Also something that can add some variety is that if you have two or more GFs equipped on a character, they can end up learning combo magic. And this would be slightly stronger in terms of junction just because you know it is slightly stronger than a normal magic attack. Like for example, if you have If It and Quetzalcoatl equipped, they can end up learning a special spell like for example a Fire and Wind attack or a Fire and Thunder attack. I also do think this can make the GFs a lot more unique because in the end all they really provide is just a slight elemental difference from each other and that's pretty much it. But that's all I imagine to help fix the magic system in Final Fantasy VIII because the draw system is just a big time waster. I still do like how Square Enix tried to be really unique with his entry so I'll give them props for again being innovative. But then again most of the problems with the game rely on how the draw system is super grindy and of course there's the story stuff but this isn't the video to talk about the story. 
But I want to hear what you guys think about the system I thought of. I want to hear if you guys have any other ideas to help fix the draw system in Final Fantasy VIII. But thank you guys for watching and see you guys later.